Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today's tutorial is really quick and simple. I've been asked by a few people can I show them a quick way of gaining colour selection or colour pop or a colour splash, whatever you want to call it. So let's get on with it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to enhance the eyes on the animal by uh, using the colour selective. But first I need to make a duplicate copy of the image itself. So if you look here, you've got the background, which is the original. So there's two ways you can do it. You can click on control and the letter J and that will make your layer um, background copy. Or if you go down to the right hand side, you'll see create a new layer by just clicking on that. It'll create a new layer. Now, what I'm going to do now is desaturate the image itself for the effect to take part in by going to image adjustments and down to desaturate. And as you can see, all the colors gone. Then we're going to make a layer mask, which is the bottom on the taskbar there, which if you highlight anything and you're not sure about it, it will pop up and let you know what it is. In this way, it's simple enough. It's the add layer mask and it looks like a little camera. So you click onto that and then you'll see a white background come up with a frame around it. If your effect isn't working, then possibly that the frame isn't around the layer mask. So make sure if it's on this, then you're working on this image. So make sure you select it by making sure that the frame is around that layer mask. Then we go to the zoom tool, just to zoom in on the eyes, because that's what I want the color effect to take part in. Always zoom in, it's always easier that you can go around and um, you've got more control of the selection by zooming in on the image itself. Select the brush, making sure that you've got the right brush size selected and also making sure that the um, color is set to black. Now, all I'm going to do is go around the eyes to enhance the color to make that color on the original image come through. So there's no enhancement of the actual color itself. It's the original color of the eyes of the tiger. There's a song about that, but anyway. Uh, then just go around until you get it selective. If you do make a mistake, so say for instance, we hit it there for instance, and oh God, what are you gonna do, you have to start again? No, you don't. If you press the letter X, if you watch the color box selection here on the left, you'll see that by pressing X, it will change the colors. Now white, you can paint over it and it'll adjust and put the deselection back. By going to black, it will bring it back into play. So by just pressing X and changing it from black to white, you will be able to put any mistake back by doing that. If not, you've also got history on the right hand side. You can go up and go back to where you started from. Very easy, very simple. Once that's done, as you can see, the effect has took part. Right click on the top one, flatten image, and there you go. Color selective. So I hope that's helped you and uh, have a go at it, it's a bit of fun as well and uh, until next time, thanks for watching, bye for now